a year ago, or almost a year ago, a bill came across in the state legislature to give the MTA more revenue and to bail them out, the MTA payroll tax. And that was a bill that I could not support because if you look at the service that we have been getting up until this point on the East End, it absolutely was not justified. And so I did not support the MTA payroll tax, nor did our Senator Ken Laval, who wanted to join us here today, but his Senate session starts a lot earlier than the Assembly session today. Uh, we did not support the MTA payroll tax because we were getting the bare minimum of, of train service and of bus service. Fast forward to this past week, and I think the MTA has some nerve to first hit the east end of Long Island with a payroll tax that was unjustified and then eliminate all service. It's absolutely wrong. The MTA payroll tax and charging us this tax and eliminating our services is akin to, the, in the colonial era, Great Britain charging the colonies taxes for services over there. We get no service. This money is to support the bloated bureaucracy of the MTA, and it's time they start cutting. The wrong message was sent on day one when the new CEO, Jay Walder, came in in this crisis after imposing that tax on us, and he gave himself a pay raise. That's the wrong way to go. But if you look throughout the MTA headquarters and what they do in terms of their management and that bloated bureaucracy, we need to line by line look through that bureaucracy and as people, the citizens, point out the savings that can be incurred. There's hundreds of millions of dollars just in that headquarters alone of appointed staff, political cronies, and patronage that has gone on for way too long. So today, as part one of a long series of bringing transparency to the MTA, I'm releasing a uh, uh, to the public a listing of that management at headquarters. And we're asking them to look within themselves and inside of that management and lead by example and chop from the top. Don't eliminate essential services to the east end of Long Island and continue to tax us. By the way, that's not going to stand. I have a meeting tonight with Senator Ken Laval. We will be introducing legislation basically stating that the MTA payroll tax will not apply to any jurisdiction that gets no service from the MTA. I think that's what is the right thing to do. Another message to the MTA, we've been calling it for it for, for, for some time, but this move on their part has lighted, lit a fire under us. We want to secede from the MTA and create our own regional transportation authority if they don't give us the proper yes. service. They need to come to the table and treat our community with respect.